Hey friends, it's Arlie. Today, I wanna to just show you really quickly how to install the Cargo Hold 28 Pannier. We're gonna be installing it on a quick haul, but this install is gonna be good for an HSD quick haul or short haul. The install for an NBD is slightly different and gonna be a different video. But I wanna show you this because the install is different if you're putting it on one of those bikes, HSD, quick haul, short haul, without a kid seat or with a kid seat. All of the information I'm going through is available on the manual that came with the Pannier, but also online. I'll put a link below if you like visual illustrations. One little trick I wanna show you before we install it on the bike. So all the cargo hold panniers use a double Velcro system for the top straps. And the way this works, so you have this strap and then you have a second strap. So what you do is pretend this is where the tube is going. You're gonna put it down and then you pull it back up on itself. And then this is like a safety strap. It goes down on top. So the first setup I wanna show you is if you're not using a kid seat. Individual pannier, we have the top straps as wide as possible and those bottom straps as wide as possible. Typically, if I only have one pannier, I'm gonna have it on the left side because that's the side I get off on and the side my kickstand's on. So it's gonna support that weight a little bit nicer. I personally install it first on the back because there's this little notched area that these straps need to go on first. And I find it just easier to line it up there first before the, any of the other straps. So it's nice and secure. If I was gonna be installing it with a kid seat, what I'm gonna do is on the back of the bag, I'm gonna be moving one strap over one slot. So I mentioned this is the left side of the bike. So I'm gonna be moving this upper left-hand corner strap. All I'm doing is carefully pulling it out so the Velcro doesn't get stuck. Moving it up. And what this does is it allows the whole bag to shift backwards. The lower straps already have lots of room to move. So you don't need to move those. If you're using the Cargo Hold 28 with the child seat, your bag is hanging off the back some. So just remember, you're not gonna be able to go into the vertical stand. If you're installing a child seat that is the Yep Maxi Easy Fit, you're gonna need to go for that front window. So it's the second rectangle back with the two holes. So what I'm gonna do is try to come down as straight as possible so that this leg isn't catching the bag. And then we're gonna tighten it up, attach the front strap, and I'll show you some of the, the features of this with the child seat. Using the bag is super simple. You can still access the whole thing. You have huge 28 liters. You can still roll top. Bucket mode. Or fold it out of the way. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time, stay well, stay good, and remember to bike more and worry less.